So I've got three 26 inch LCD TVs that I'm going to be repairing. The first one is this Sony. It's a KDL S3000 26 inch LCD TV. Uh, I think this has got tab bond issues or something. And it is HD, but it is one clunky massive TV. It is just huge. A 26. And then the second one is this Murphy, which is based off of a UMC chassis. It's a 26 inch. This has uh, just won't turn on. It's stuck in standby basically. Um, I've already took the back off and what I can see is the power supply has a load of Samsung GF capacitors in. And uh, when I actually heated the power board with the hairdryer, the TV would turn on. So I'm guessing it's going to need a recap, but I can do that. And the last one is this Goodman's, which is a Vestel. It's actually a 27 inch, but I'm just going to call it a 26. This is slightly older, it ha and it doesn't ha isn't HD, sorry. And pff, I don't know what's wrong with it, it just doesn't turn on. I don't know if this is going to be worth me fixing, because... I don't know if anyone's going to want to buy this and if I'm going to make my money back. I've already spent £10 on the TV itself. But as you can tell from the sticker, it's a Vestel chassis. Um, so I know what I'm dealing with with these TVs. The Sony will probably be a bit harder because I've got to take the screen apart. Uh, the Murphy will be easy. And the Goodman's will be, I don't know, should be easy. If it's a Vestel, probably just caps. But, um, I'm going to get on with the Murphy first. So here is the inside of that Murphy TV. It's just a generic UMC built TV with a, it's a LT918C chassis. Um, to be honest, this isn't that badly built for a UMC. Uh, this is the uh, power safety board which uh, when you there's a little switch here now this TV won't run the standby rail as soon as you plug it in when you plug it in you have to push this switch which is just a little safety switch which activates this relay which will activate the power supply and the 5 volt standby on this and, that, and will let voltage go to this and then you can turn the rest of the TV on, which is quite neat. Um, but the power supply in this is a Megmeet MLT666BX. Um, and these aren't actually that bad, these power supplies. I've seen these run 42 inch LCD backlights before with no issues. Um, just their choice of caps is poor. But. I'd say after a recap, this power supply will be pretty solid, to be honest. This TV is quite a capacitor nightmare. There's a bunch of cheap caps on this board. EFC. Uh, I think they're all EFC. And on the power board, we have Samsung GFs, which is also a bad series. I think the panels are Chime as well. Well, no, it's not. It's an AU Optronics. But it's not that bad of a TV. It's not the best either. It, it almost reminds me of like a Samsung or something because it has this like curved front bezel and then little LED under it. Then the speakers also remind me of a Samsung. Eh. Anyway, I'm going to take this power board out and get recapping. I'm just doing the uh, recap now on the this main uh, the power board. Just remove that heatsink. Here are all the caps. These are all going to need to be changed, apart from the primary. And there's a smaller cap under there as well, so I'm going to have to remove this heatsink. That's just my desoldering station. I'm doing it on the floor at the minute because I can't be bothered to do it on the table in my room. But I'm guessing that 
one of these has gone at the top. I wish I had my, my uncle's ESR meter with me, but he's got it at the minute. I'm going to get changing and I'll show you the finished board after. Using a uh, Rubicon, Kimicons, all good jack caps. So I'll get on with this now. So I'm done recapping the power board. It went really well. Those two are Panasonic's. Those two are Panasonic's. That's a Panasonic. And the majority of the secondary side are Chemicon, KY, and KZE. And there's one little Rubicon there. Well, it's bigger than the rest, but... This is good now. No, nice Japanese capacitors on there. This power board is not going to be failing with bad cap issues, unless the primary goes. Um, but I'm going to get the heat sinks back on, and this should be a very decent power board now. Now I've got rid of all the Samsung GFs. Excellent. So I've got the power supply back in. Uh, I still haven't fixed that broken wire, but that's only for the side buttons, so I'll do that after. So uh, press this little relays on. And I think that's it. Backlights are on. DVD's working. Awesome. And the screen's just white though. Uh, let me flip this over and see what's, what picture we're getting. Something's still wrong with this TV. Um, it looks like we've got a bad LCD screen. You see we've just got like a white border. I wonder if I give it a good whack. We got some sort of tab bond issue or bad LCD. Let me check the LVDS quickly. We got. I think we got a tab bond issue because when I hit the screen, where was it about? I hit the screen somewhere and it came back to the blue UMC thing. I know we've got tab bond issues somewhere. Wow, I hit the screen somewhere and it came back. So I'm going to tear the screen down and see what's going on. So I've finished doing the tab bond repair. As you can see, I've got several foam pads stacked on top of each other. On top of every single tab, because I don't know which tab is causing the fault. But uh, I'm going to screw this all back down and I'm hoping that that annoying error will go away and fix this TV at last. It's not worth buying a new LCD for it. Anyway, I'm going to seal this all up now and the next clip should be this TV working and hopefully get on to repairing all the others. So I'll get back to you. So the TV is now working. And it's got quite a rich blue on it. Uh, I'm just going to be running it now for a while just to make sure those tabs are fine and that the power supply is fine. Um, but I'm going to get onto the next TV, which is the Vestel. So I'm going to get on with that now. So here's that uh, Goodman's TV, the 27 inch. I've got the back off, and it's a bit of a strange one. Well, it's not, it's not strange, it's just something I don't come across very often. And I've seen Hitachi do this as well. We actually have a Goodman's power supply. It's full of Rubicons, and there's a couple LTEX, and I'm willing to put a bet that the LTEX will test bad. Um, the main board is a Vestel 17MB08P3, and there's the Vestel logo. Uh, it's got a few other little Vestel boards like this. It's got a few caps on it that probably need to be changed. But um, I've seen a Hitachi do this, where they use all Hitachi parts, then use a Vestel mainboard. But uh, eventually Hitachi went full on Vestel and they no longer make their TVs. 
I'm guessing it's a Chunghua LCD panel as well because Chunghua's always use this crappy aluminium. Uh, looks like a Vestal inverter as well. I'll get down to that after because it's going to need cleaning. But first, I'm going to take the power board out and inspect that. Surely enough, two of the caps on this board were bad, and they were the only LTEC brand. There's this one here, and that one there. They're both 10 microfarad, 50 volts. Um, it's quite easy to diagnose this, I didn't need the multimeter. I just heated the board with a hairdryer, so I'm hoping that these are the cause of the issue. Uh, nothing checked bad on my meter. So I've got some Panasonic's in here. I'm gonna need two. Panasonic FEB, just a general purpose cap. So I'm gonna replace those two Altex and we'll see if we get any life out of that TV. Okay, so after replacing those two caps, TV is back to life. Standby LED. And backlights are on. Yes. Cleaned out the TV, just vacuumed it out because it has some smoker's dust in it. And I'm going to say that that's a repair success. Turns off, turns right back on. So, I'm going to seal the TV up and stress test it now. Been running that one for a for a while and it's been working fine. And then now for the Sony. That's two repairs so far. It's gotten to the Sony. So here it is. Power it on. Let's see if we get display. And it's good. There's no lines or anything in the screen. But look at that crappy Chunghua panel. Wow, the contrast. This is a piece of junk. This style software is barely functional as well. The menu. Let's see if we can get into a service menu. Maybe it's not on that, maybe it's on. Uh, press that. Hmm. Seems to be no way to get into the service menu. There we are. VCR mode, what's that? Uh, I'll play with this a bit more later, but that's two done so far. These, um, I forgot to say that these TVs are actually from the house that I store them all in. Uh, I just brought them back because I need to start sorting through all those TVs. But um, that's two sorted. Let's get onto the Sony. Woohoo! So here's the last 26 inch TV I'm working on. It's the Sony KDL 26S3000. And I think it's just uh, the screen's just glitching out or something. But I'll do is I'll get it remounted on the stand, but this thing needs a hoover out before I do anything, so I'm going to get the hoover and just give it a quick clean. So I've cleaned out uh, the uh, TV. There's nothing obviously wrong yet. What I like to do is when, <coughs> whenever I get a TV, I always check out the solder joints on the power board, and I also just clean it off with a vacuum, just to make sure that there's nothing like that that could risk shorting things out. This TV's full of smoker's dust as well. But it's cleaning up nicely. So I'm gonna finish cleaning it and then put it on the stand and see what it's doing. I'll get back to you. So I think I've sorted this TV. It's quite a simple fault. Turn it on. But when I turned it on originally the screen was really scrambled and just looked horrible but after adjusting the LVDS and cleaning it up with some IPA 
Uh, it's back to normal. You know, if I pull up the menu or something. Yeah, it looks fine now. It could be tab bonds, but I'm just gonna move it about a bit and stuff and put it on its stand and see if we get any more issues. I hope we don't, but I'll get back to you. So I've been running this TV for about two hours and, you know, just giving it a wiggle about and it seems fine now. So I guess all it was was just a loose LVDS. Um, so, I'm going to seal it all up now. Uh, I trust that it works. I'm going to put the top casing on and finish with these TVs at last. But this is quite a nice little TV. It's built very well. So let's finish this. So that's this TV sorted. Just loose LVDS. Thank God it wasn't anything like tab ons. So I hate doing them. Turn it off and turn it on again. Digital. I don't know if this has got free view, it might, but it's quite an old clunky thing, but I've already given back the other Murphy brand one to the owner. I'm gonna get the these two listed for sale. And I've got some more coming in tomorrow, so I guess I better get listing these. So thanks for watching. It's been repairing a few little 26 inch LCD TVs. <coughs> they were all successful as well. So, thanks for watching.